guys, happy Saturday. I hope you are having a pleasant one so far. And thank you for coming back and welcome if you're the first time here. Today I am doing the ballpoint pen challenge, which I have seen around YouTube lots of times. And so I'm really looking forward to this. And I am sort of gonna lump this in with the cheap supply challenge as well because this awesome Dr. Zeus pen that you see I'm working with that I saw in the store, and it just screamed my name. It was just like, fluffy Dr. Zeus pen. I must have it. I just could not leave the store without it. And it was about $2 at the store. I'm just like, wow, that's awesome. And I am actually really impressed with how it worked. I mean, it was really smooth. It glides on the paper well. Uh, it did, like, the shading really super, super well. I was really, really impressed with it. And I just, oh, it was so awesome. I might get a second one just in case I overuse this one and it dries up and I'd be really sad. But it would make a good decoration because it's like Dr. Zeus, childhood, amazing. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Anyways, I'll stop going on about that. But Oh, look at this, guys. I actually finished a whole drawing in one video. I am super happy with myself. Even though, you know, it's um, it's actually because it's a really small drawing and it's with only one pen. But that's beside the point. I finished one! Hi! I am so happy! Um, so you're going to see about two <laughs> different lighting things in here. One is I'm filming at night because it has been super hot out and I have just not been motivated to actually work during the day. It's been too stifling. I have to flee to something that has, you know, air conditioning so I don't bake in my apartment. So I got this light bulb and it's supposed to simulate daylight, which I was actually really impressed with actually how bright it is and I want to get a second or third one just so the lighting is a bit more even for the videos but I was really anxious to try it out and I'm really glad I did because this is great because now I can film at night while this heat wave is going on and it'll be much cooler and I can still get work done so, so it'll be really good so let me guys you guys let me know oh, I I can't talk today. I'm so sorry. Please let me know down below in the comments if you want um, what you guys think of the evening lighting. And um, so, yeah. Anyways, so as you can see here, I'm just adding some hatching and stuff to the face and eyes. And I'm actually um, just barely touching the page because I wanted to sort of build from light to dark you know, as subtly as I could. And so I'm being very gentle and I'm barely touching the page here uh, with the pen. And so it was, oh, I was just amazed at how well it built up. And I hope everything looks all right. I'm, I'm really happy with this. So as a unicorn girl, uh, sort of, I guess, making a wish at a pond. I have this coloring book and... Um, I sort of want to have like the beautiful drawings in there and, um, <laughs> and I sort of wanted to have a dreamy quality, you know, to those old fairy tale illustrations that you see in some old books and I sort of wanted to duplicate that. And who does not love unicorn girls? I love drawing them for the fact that I can draw horns, which I'm always obsessed about. <laughs> I, I mentioned in previous videos what I like to draw horns and stuff like that. So I'm going to put some music on right now and I will see you in a bit. Okay?
Okay, so here I am adding the white ink to the finished piece, sort of finish it off. And this is actually a white acrylic ink. I can't remember the name of this, but it is my favorite ink. I, I love using this to, to finish off drawings because it's super white and bright and it doesn't rub off well and it is absolutely permanent, but it's really good. And um, so what you see I'm doing here is I'm just touching the tip of the brush to the, the dropper part just so I don't take too much. And the surprising part about this is um, I was trying to get the white to stay, but as it dried, it started to change, of course, because it's a ballpoint pen to like um, a bluish purple. It was a beautiful color, but I was really surprised at this happy accent because I wanted to make the water look like, you know, water surface. And um, as the ink was drying, it was just... It was just smearing the ink, which was actually, you know, I actually really liked that effect because it looked like it was actually water instead of just having blobby white ink on the top. So I'm actually, I will remember this technique so I can do it again because that, I really like the effect of that. And you can't see my frustration here as I'm trying to rub it on, like, stay white, stay white. And the more it dried, the more it gave this this inky wateriness to this, to to the uh, end effect here. So, wow, I, I'm actually, like I said before, I'm really happy with it. And at the end part here, you're going to see I'm adding uh, little white sparkles of white ink. So I'm just filling my brush and I'm just tapping it off so it splashes down on top of the drawing. And I like to call that the clamp effect because in the early days of clamp, you know, and if you see the earlier manga stories, you see this white s sparkles everywhere. And I sort of emulated that when I first started drawing manga. And I still do it because it's fun to do, to splash ink down. And um, yeah, I hope you guys like this. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. And thank you so, so much for joining me today. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.